welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be showing you how to check ssd or hard disk speed on your windows 10 and windows 11 using the command prompt so right now on my end you can see i have one ssd where my operating system has been installed and i also have the hard disk which is local disk d okay so in order to find the speed what you will have to do click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt click run as admin so that we can have the enough permission now once it comes up you will have to type simple command in order to find out the speed of your hard disk or ssd so the command will be win sat space disk space dash drive space and then you have to type the drive letter for which you want to check the speed so on my end local disk c is the ssd so i will type c and hit the enter key so now you can see that it's running the test now and the assessment and very quickly it will let me know what kind of speed i'm getting and here you can see now disk sequential 64 read 1433.77 mb and the write speed is 1169 so that is my speed it can be less or more on your end it also depends that you are using the sata ssd or nvme ssd now in case if you have a question that what kind of speed is required so this is a good speed that you can see on my end but if you do the gaming then it's recommended that you should go with the nvme ssd that will give you more than 3000 or 4000 of speed all right so now let's also check for the hard disk so again we have to type the same command and instead of c i will type the d because d is my hard disk so i will type d and hit the enter key again and this will again run the assessment and the test and soon it will let us know that what kind of speed we are getting for the hard disk and so the test is completed now and for the hard disk you can see that the disk sequential read speed is 37.78 mb and the write speed is 34.14 mb so you can see there is a huge difference now you can see this hard disk speed and then you can compare this ssd speed there is a lot of difference and that is the reason you are recommended to use ssd instead of hard disk so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes then please consider subscribing to the channel like the videos for more related videos in the future till then take care bye bye